are learning more about the container ship that malfunctioned yesterday, causing the Ravenel Bridge to be shut down. Scary situation. News 2's Raymond Owen spoke with officials and has the latest. The MSC Michigan 7 is now, as you see behind me, docked back here in downtown Charleston. But yesterday it had quite a ride through the Cooper River into Charleston Harbor and out into the Atlantic Ocean. 11.45 yesterday morning, we boarded a ship for a routine departure from the North Charleston Terminal to take the ship to sea, and its next port was scheduled to be Savannah. Pilot Chris Thornton was on board to guide the nearly 1,000-foot-long, 74,000-ton container ship. Uh, with the engine ordered dead slow ahead, which is the slowest setting for, uh, for the a ship's engine, inexplicably, without warning, the engine speed just started increasing. Eventually getting up to near full speed of 14 knots or 16 miles per hour. If the engines were shut off, the ship would not be able to be controlled. The, the pilot and the captain conferred on various options, of which there were few. They decided to attempt to guide the ship through the 16 turns needed to get to the ocean. The, the first attempt was to get assistance from tugboats, but the tugboats at that speed were unable to make fast to the vessel. There, you know, they would have been they would have been in peril. So they asked law enforcement to shut down the Ravenel Bridge as a precaution. We called out uh, via the law enforcement channel and also directly to the Coast Guard with a recommendation that that uh, traffic uh, be be stopped on the Ravenel Bridge for the brief period while the ship was was passing through. So here at the pilot officer, our dispatchers calling out to warn vessels that were moored alongside the channel and that were that were in the channel and operating in the harbor. They needed to know the MSC Michigan 7 might create large waves. Park rangers at Fort Moultrie cleared the beach at that end of Sullivan's Island in 10 minutes since large waves could be headed that way. The ship made its way through the harbor and out into the Atlantic Ocean. There were some injuries due to that large wake. There were injuries to uh, two boaters that were along the path of the vessel near Daniel Island. They were taken to the hospital, but the pilot was able to prevent what might have been a serious tragedy. Last night, the ship was moved back into Charleston Harbor. It was brought back in under control of tugboats last night, um, uh, up, to, up to seven tugboats uh, at one point in that, that voyage, it was, but it was brought in completely under the control of tugboats. It was an, ex an extreme anomaly, uh, an, un an unprecedented event to our experience. Uh, we, we definitely look forward to the, the investigation to, to learn, learn the findings and the, you know, the probabilities of this recurring. Cameron tells me the MSC Michigan 7 could be moved again sometime soon. In downtown Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.